EA, Capcom, I guess, yes, Capcom, um, so, um, I just was looking at articles on the internet, and one of the game, one of the top two, actually top three games I'm most excited for, for 2019, well, one of the ones for 2018 is, uh, Spyro, uh, the Reunited Trilogy, but the two other games that are really on my radar as of soon, um, number, number one is Kingdom Hearts 3, and number two is, uh, Devil May Cry 5. And also add in, um, I'm trying to think, what was it? Uh, Doom. A, I think it's Doom the Eternal, I think. Um, so I was looking at an article, and I just saw Devil May Cry, and it says, use real money to beef up your character. In the way, microtransactions. Because we've got to have money. Now, I would expect this from like a uh, multiplayer game like <coughs> Battletoad. But, really, Devil May Cry 5. You're gonna say a single player game where you can just. Like basically, well, the whole idea of it was basically from what I read, was you can basically just uh, buy a bunch of red orbs and you can use them to make Dante or Nero a lot stronger or buy all those abilities that you want. That's a cool idea, but at the same time, it, and they go to the same old excuse and it's like, we just want to make it, they like, give the uh, gamer the option. Giving the the gamer the option means basically say, okay, you want, say, Dante to do this flip stuff and he can do, shoot, use an every and just shoot everywhere in like a bunch of crazy combination ways. Okay, cool, okay. Now that would be five dollars to buy, to buy, say, a thousand orbs. Or if you don't have a thousand orbs, then here's five, give us five dollars. It's basically just wanting you to, instead of, you know, progressing through the game and just going as, like, you know, actually just playing the darn game, it's fine to say, hey, you want this? Reach into your wallet and give us your money. That's what it's saying. It, it, I'm still gonna buy De Devil May Cry 5. I mean, it looks awesome. It looks freaking awesome. I mean, Nero looks great. So does Dante. But it's this kind of thing where you can like have like say single player microtransactions. That's kind of it's really dumb. What? Well, what's the point of buy playing the game if you're just gonna like, say, well, I want to make him stronger quicker. Why? I thought the point of playing a game was to have fun and, you know, do it old fashioned way, you know, like riding through and making your character strong by playing the game, not by just being, you know, just like being like, oh, well, I don't want to spend time playing this game. I'm just going to take money out. That seems kind of like. It, it seems kind of like, you know, it seems kind of dumb. Why would you do that? Unless you, like, have a busy life and you just think like, mm, I've got a bunch of money I can spend, and you just do that, that's fine. You do whatever you want, man. But, it really hurts the game, and it really hurts games. I mean, it really basically just, like, says, like, when a, you, when a game developer does that, they're just saying, like, well, we want to give, basically, we want to use an excuse to say, give us more money. I mean, it's also, I mean, for some people, that's awesome. Like, you want to, like, make your character go a lot stronger or quicker. But, at the same time, when you have microtransactions, they just say, think, oh, hey, here's a cool little costume. You can make Dante look younger or, some, or, you know, give him a new coat or something like that. 
That's cool. That's, I mean, that's the kind of thing that microtransactions should be used for, like, say, costumes. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way. Playing the dang game and unlocking it. Instead of just, like, saying, like, instead of just, like, we're lazy, we want you to not play the game, just spend more money so we can have had, get our recuperate it if this game fails. I mean, when you have microtransactions for a game, in my opinion, it means you are just really, you have no confidence in it. That's just my thoughts. But, that's just my thoughts. I'm still gonna buy DMC5, but this microtransaction stuff, it, it's just, it rubs me the wrong way, man. I mean, if you wanna do it, spend your money, and they probably say, it's probably like five dollars. I don't know, but if you want to like just do that, that's your decision. But at the same time, I can't support uh, Capcom adding microtransactions to DMC Five. But that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.